Hi, Billy Dillard from Billy Dillard Art. This is a short video on how to uh, install stained glass flowers. So uh, I'll show you what I'm using and then we can get started. Right now I've got the Polygen 307 Lite epoxy mixed up and ready to go. I do have a video on how to mix it. If you don't know how, you can check out my uh, YouTube videos on that. It'll show you exactly how to mix it. And I got, um, this is an 8 inch screw here. Brass tubing. The brass tubing is uh, 11 30 seconds as far as the diameter. And I cut it where what I want to do is I want to be able to go through my leaf and the glass flowers, but then it won't allow me to screw unless I really wrench down on it into the glass because that glass is very easy to break. So the idea is cut it the length where it'll stop before that happens, and I'll show you as I'm installing it. So um, and the washer here, that's just for the size of the hole in the glass. Um, let me grab one of the flowers. So, here's the flowers. And I've already pre-drilled the holes. Um, if you don't know how to do that, get in contact with me. I can certainly tell you how to do it. Or I can do a video demonstrating on how to cut the holes in the glass. Um, it's not very hard. Um, Okay, so let's get started. So first, I'll take me a glob of epoxy. And... Get this over it through my leaf. Oh, yeah, let's see which way I want to do this here. I think I'll just stick it right there. Put the gob there, stick it right through, boom, got that. And it doesn't matter. I mean, if the little bit gets in the tube, that really doesn't matter. It doesn't hurt anything. And then I put. Now, I actually had some rubber washers that I got from the plumbing department that you could put in these holes. And it was the perfect fit for the hole and the flower that I cut. But the new set I got was a little bit off. So I'm going to go ahead and do it without the rubber washers, just to show you that you can if you want to. So now i got one flower on there, and I'm going to put another one on there. So I need to put some more epoxy on here. And what the reason I'm doing this is because I, I want to embed them in there to give them some cushion basically and now I've already checked all this to make sure I was in pretty close to what I wanted now it's just a matter of turning the leaf to where I want it Okay, so now I'm going to drill it, but I'm not going to snug it up, because if you do, you'd break the glass real easy. I just want that to stay there, and then I'll do it by hand the rest of the way. So, I got my ratchet, and I can't think of the proper name for this particular kind of deal here, but I don't use Phillips head screw heads. Um, you can kind of hopefully see that. Is that, torque? Isn't that called a torque? Yeah, it sounds good to me. But anyway, I like these. I do not use Phillips or a flathead screwdriver type head on these because it, it just doesn't work well. These work really good. So there again, you just take your time. Oh, and I want to put a little bit of epoxy around that also. I'll come back in with a, got to go get the tool and show you, but it's a, basically what it is, it's a broom that I took and cut a bunch of the straws off of it and then took a rubber band and created my little texture tool. So, okay, now I can go ahead and bring that down some more. So for my bit fell out. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. This would work better if it was magnetized.
So what you do is just keep checking it. So here I got a little piece of tape and what I'm going to do is stick it right over the screw screw head. That way if for some reason I break the flower and I need to go back in and remove it, I can just take and grind off the epoxy that I'm fixing to cover that, that with and I can grind it off and it'll keep the head where I can go back. I can go back into the head here and remove that screw and completely replace the flower if I need to. So now I can just cover over it. And now I can create the texture I want. So I'll show you that real quick. So let's see, we'll grab that little dude there. And just a matter of um, creating the texture. Oh, this tool here, and you'll notice it is wire, and it works really good for, depending on how you do it, because I want it to look kind of, I want to be able to grab it and pull it away a little bit. So I got, I got two choices. I got that, or here's my broom one I was talking about. That one. <laughs> I need to make me a new broom one. That looks pretty bad, but anyway, this one's working out pretty well. And you just kind of goof around with it till you get what you want. Now, if I didn't want it to grab the wire really strongly, I would just dip this tool in water before I did this. But I want it to grab and pull it. And that's what, what I'm getting right now. Okay, now, if I want to clean any of that up. Oh, I could clean it up with this here. But I'm going to see if I can get in here and create texture under here also I'll come back in later and paint that and whatever color I decide I want to paint it but yeah I'll paint it okay now let me get over here that one's kind of got a wire out of whack here right here I'm just cleaning up to just use a wooden Wood works really well. This box I could dip it in water if I if it starts sticking to the my little tool here. But so you can just kind of push it back like that here, right here. Got a little bit so I can clean that up and then just recreate my texture right there. Okay, so I I got more to do and I'll just do the same thing that I did here. Because I'm going to put some more flowers on. But that gives you an idea how to install it. Um, right under here. Is, let's see if you can get under there, Ange. Can you? Will that show up? Mm -hmm. Alright. So you can do the same thing under here if you want to create texture. Alright. So I can't see it. Okay, so the finishing phase will be when I come back and I'll wait till I get them all installed and I'll come back and paint these here. Um, probably a nice pretty yellow color. So anyway, that gives you an idea how to install some stained glass flowers if you want to. This is one technique. Um, if I was putting them on a vine, I would do something similar. But I would be screwing into a piece of hollow tubing instead of this screw going through that tubing into the wood. It'll, let's say it was a vine so um, hopefully later on I'll be doing something like that and I'll do a video on that 
So if you have any questions, let me know. Just um, subscribe or uh, send me an email, whichever works best for you. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. All right, later.